hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here thank you so much for coming to watch this video please subscribe and join this growing family and if you're an og thank you so much for coming back you know i love you i love you <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing on tips that can help you to stay consistent in your personal Bible study time. So if you are in for that, definitely keep on watching. But I know as believers, we have good intentions. We want to study the word. We want to read the Bible. But as time goes on, like we make a decision in the first place that I want to start studying the Bible. I want to get intimate with God. And as time goes on, the demands of life can be so tasking and you feel like you are not even doing what you have made up your mind to do. Do you get? And that's why I'm sharing some of these tips that has helped me to, you know, be consistent with my Bible study, like reading the Bible daily. So I pray that these tips also help you. So the first tip I'm going to be sharing is that you should stay hungry. Or should I say, pray to God to create in you a hunger for the word of God. That is like the first tip that would help you to be consistent. Because the truth is, by your strength, you can't do it like human strength. But when God empowers you from inside out, then you will be consistent with, you know, studying the word and, you know, spending time in the word of God. So pray for a desire. Pray for a desire to be hungry. Pray for a desire to, to you know, want more of the word of God, to want more of God. When you pray for a desire, it creates a hunger on your inside. You get it creates a hunger and you would always want to study scriptures. You know, in the book of Psalms, I would um, leave the passage down below it says as the dead pants after the water brooks so my soul longs for you oh god as the dead pants after water brooks that's how like the way a dead pants after water brooks is like i want this thing i want this thing that's like a hunger you should resist the urge to stay satisfied never be satisfied see the more you know the more you want to know the more like that song the more i know you the more i want to know you jesus more of you so the more you know the more you want to know the more you read scriptures the more you will crave for the scriptures the more you will desire scriptures so just pray to god to know creating you an hunger that would help you to stay consistent and you would see that it will not be a struggle to always study the word the of god the next tip i'll be sharing is to make it about your relationship with god so bible study or personal bible study studying the word of god is not something that you do for god no it is something that you do with god it is a relationship it is a relationship it's just like being in a normal relationship with friends with family what do you do you speak with that person you communicate with that person you spend time with that person and that's how it is also see it as a relationship with god and see it as something that you don't just not like you are doing it for god you are doing it with god you are listening to his voice you are hearing what he has to say to you that is how you can be consistent when you see it as a relationship the thing is your perspective has to change you don't just have to like think of it as something that you want to um see as like a checklist no but a relationship something that you do with god you know like a desire from you to god you get so you should see it as that when your perspective changes it would help you to be more consistent with studying the bible okay and if you feel disconnected from god maybe it's because you are not spending time with the word of god so i encourage you today i implore you today to you know spend time with the word of god pray for consistency pray for it make it about a relationship with god next tip i'll be sharing is that you should choose a time and stick to it guys see when you choose a time and you stick to it, it would like create in you like the eagerness to want to study the word of God. So you can decide to choose a time like maybe first thing in the morning. 
it might not be like exactly okay i want to pray by oh, i want sorry i want to study the bible by 9 a.m it might just be when i wake up in the morning before i do any other thing i'm going to study the word of god this would help you to be consistent with bible study i know it's not by your own strength and god can help you to actually stay consistent so choose a time this is part of like your own um part to play you know choose a time and stick to it and this does not disregard the promptings of the holy spirit when the spirit prompts you maybe during the day or as you go through your day when it prompts you to you know read the bible please ensure that you read the bible so choose a time and stick to it okay that's how you can be consistent if you are just like anytime we walk any time will not work. So choose a time. Be, be very, very intentional about choosing a time you want to study the word and study it. Okay? Another tip that can help you to remain consistent or to stay consistent in your Bible study is to have a reading plan. So you are not just um, skimming through. You have a plan that, you know, you are going through. This would motivate you to, you know, finish or to read the scriptures so for example maybe you are planning to read the bible in a year or you are doing a study on the gospels or whatever it is that you are doing a bible reading plan on this is going to like spoil you to you know be consistent with studying the bible so have a bible reading plan this will help you to be very consistent okay and if you want me to you know, um do a video on how to create your own bible reading plan please just leave a comment below and i'll be glad to do that another thing that can help you is to use a physical bible see i know that using maybe apps and all of that they are also not like they are bad but sometimes it could be a distraction if we are very sincere with ourselves as you are reading the bible you just see one notification and you just say let me quickly check that you get. So use a physical Bible. When you use a physical Bible, it's going to help you to be more consistent. Like you are seeing what you are reading, you can highlight, you can write it. It's going to spoil you to you know, be consistent when you see your physical Bible. And if you can even put it beside you, like maybe at night. And so that when you wake up in the morning, that's the first thing you carry. So having a physical Bible would also help you to be consistent. Another thing that can help you to be consistent is to journal when you read the Bible. So when you journal, you are able to write out the things that you are learning. This would encourage you the more to be consistent because you are writing it out. You are learning more and you'll be able to like soak it all in. It would help you to be consistent, to help you to even stay longer because you are writing, you are reading, you are highlighting and all of that. So having a journal also or journaling writing what you are learning would help you to also remain consistent the truth is a little bit of time every day is more important than reading a large chunk infrequently so instead of saying oh i'm not reading the bible monday tuesday wednesday thursday so on friday i'm going to read 10 chapters <laughs> no don't do that even if it's little by little that you can read every day. See, the word of God is your lifeline. You get. So, it's important that you hold on to it and make it that. Read the Bible every day. And you remember the song? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. If you know that song, let me know in the comment section. Just leave a comment about the song in the comment section. Um, if you have other tips also that you know can help a person to stay consistent, please leave them down below so that we all can learn from you. And also, don't forget to leave a comment if you want me to do that. Um, video on how to create your own bible reading plan so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video to share this video to leave a comment and to subscribe to this channel let's grow subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends and i'm going to see you in my next one until then remain blessed Bye bye